Hi Robin with Oxydry and we'll be doing the hallway and we've got major footwear transfer going on here as you can see I did pre-treat with um, suspend and we've got some more standing over here to deal with that was um, a mark from under the chair black mark it's mostly disappeared already and uh, then over here as well but a 20 year old carpet apparently I think I think we'll boost this there's actually a little bit in here already I think but, um, Let's just uh, perk this up a little bit. It's probably about an ounce per gallon now, because I've got about two gallons in there. But I had a little bit more, a little bit in there from before as well, so maybe almost three ounces. Okay. Let's make this happen. Drop it down and then do a quick twist to the left that engages the clutch. Ideally, I want to start off slow. <laughs> slow speed. Anyway, so we're going to run over the traffic areas. And that's obviously cleaning really well. That, of course, is a hog's hair fiber pad, which is the uh, ultimate <laughs> option, I think. And we're doing uh, 200 RPM right now. Hannah slipping. <coughs> so I'm just applying like that. I'm watching the carpet, making sure I just apply enough to do the job without overwetting. I've cleaned this carpet before, it's been a few years. Soiling up the entrance to the or the doorway to the deck. We'll go over there in just a little bit. You can see how incredibly well this is working. That's just cutting through that uh, footwear transfer standing like a hot knife through butter. 
That's wonderful. I'm not going out to the edges because I don't need to with this pad. We'll be doing that when I put the uh, extraction pad on. That uh, dark area that was in front of the chair is 100% gone now. Isn't that amazing? That's how well it works. So simple and so easy. I'm just going to go over this uh, area right here at high speed. In front of the door entrance to the kitchen. This is 125 passes more than a typical 175 per minute that's going on right now. So that <coughs> all that mark is gone, including the there was a black mark from the <coughs> hinges underneath this thing, and that's all, all gone. I used some um, wink on it, <laughs> and we'll get in behind there with the other pad. I did <coughs> vacuum it really well and I did all the edges and corners. <coughs> and I pre-treated the hallway and everywhere where the obvious uh, Soiling is with the suspend.
can see how exceptionally well this is working. I'm able to get right to the edge with that fiber pad because it's sticking out just a little bit beyond the um, pad driver. That's the 16-inch uh, pad driver I've got on there right now. Now we're going 300 RPM. It's looking pretty darn amazing. See, they've been using the Cymex out here. Not a fan of the Cymex. Boy, this is looking incredible. That's how you do it. Okay, we're going to do a switch.
Okay, now we're gonna make sure I go over every inch with the extraction step. You can see the pad goes right up to the wall. I'm uh, adding a little bit of solution, but not very much. I know the, pat the carpet's already damp anyway, so... <clears throat> I don't want to get the this cotton pad. This is an Iron Man. I don't want to get the Iron Man pad too wet. what we're doing is soil extraction transfer technology ultra low moisture and most carpets when we clean them will dry within an hour in most situations and uh, they will stay clean longer is going to look brand new, I think. looking good and uh, I, I do again much prefer the rotary over an OP machine you can certainly do this with an OP machine but uh, this is a carpet that again would be difficult or a little more challenging to move the OP on because it is a, a looped carpet and it's a fairly stiff loop so they will have a tendency to, to kind of chatter on a carpet like this and uh, not want to go in certain directions as well. Whereas the rotary makes no difference at all. But just very easy to use. And the results are, well, excellent as you can see. I simply don't 
um, hold to the notion that you can clean the carpet better with an OP machine. Either machine will work, but I prefer, and I think the rotary works better. <coughs> At least it can work better in the hands of someone who knows how to really get the uh, results with a rotary because it is, it does require a little more uh, focus. Even the way I'm moving the machine on the carpet, I'm very much aware of where this, uh, the head of the machine is going and watching the, uh, making sure I'm getting nice even passes. <coughs> But then once you get that, uh, it really, uh, you can really get the performance out of a, a rotary and it helps which rotary you're using. Some are going to be better than others. A lot of it has to do with the balance of the machine. And uh, this machine is uh, the best rotary I've ever used. And that's why I am... Um, recommending it and it is available in the USA by the way um, I would actually talked to um, Centaur about that and um, there's distributors on the East Coast but you can also order it direct from Centaur and they'll send it to you and although it's not a cheap machine it's not the most expensive there are, are well, at least one other rotary that I'm aware of that would cost you more but won't give you as many features or the performance of this machine and this machine is very high quality and um, it does things that other machines other rotaries simply don't do but it's not everybody's cup of tea I get that you can buy rotaries, new new rotaries, under a thousand dollars in the U.S. I mean, I'm sure it won't last like this. These machines will last decades. There's actually uh, quite a few uh, rotaries that are on the market now that are Chinese-made, and they're cheap, cheap to buy, but they're also cheaply made. Well, maybe it'll last you a, a year or two. But, uh, not going to have the features like this machine has either. With the ability to go from a 13 inch up to a uh, 18 or 19 inch pad driver and have the ability to be so uh, versatile and have the flash guard and and, uh, and then be a two-speed as well. So let's uh, stop and we'll have a look at the pad. Let's see where we're at. That's a shadow, by the way because the chairs are sitting there. The light's shining there. Let's have a look. Ooh. Well, I think I'm pretty much done, although I am, I'm gonna run over the, uh, uh, the traffic areas with the B-side anyway, but there you go. That gives you an idea of how well this works, which is amazingly well. As usual, put that in there. All right. Thank you very much, very much for watching, and have a good day.